strong. Do we even have a chance? Come on, it's way too early to give up. Do they have any bright ideas then, Danette? Uh, nope. Well, outside that, we can't stop now. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Wielder of the Onyx Blade, heed me. What? You have the same powers of control as the Drazilian Masters, right? Huh? What? You want to join us? I'm telling you right now, I'm not fighting alongside no zombie! Don't get ahead of yourself, boy. My body... It's finished. Even now, I can feel my soul try to leave it. I regret that my time to leave this world has finally come. So I want you to eat me. What? In my old body, I'd have more than enough power to handle any world eater. And if consuming my soul means you gain my full power, you should well be a match for them. That's why you must eat me. But eat? Don't be a fool! Do you care nothing for our world? It's dead if we don't do something. We must kill these Drazilians. We must stop their slaughter. I cannot allow them to have their way with my home any longer! That world... It is my only love. But now... I can do nothing for it. So please... I think we should do what he says. All right then, sure. Thanks. I owe you one. I'll remember that. <laughs> I'm amazed that the villain's just letting us sit there and stand here and do this too. Oh ho! And what are you planning now? How interesting. Let's see what happens. It better be good, though. It better be. So this is how it feels. Now finish the job. Kill me! Exclamation mark. Do you still refuse? Allow me to motivate you. Why? You must strike me down. Doing so, you will become unstoppable! Understand that I cannot simply give up. If I do, my strength is lost. And though I may be weakened, this will be the fight of your life! What are you? Level 60, right? I think that's what we saw. Yeah, level 60. I'm not gonna lie, you actually might be a real threat. Wait, how much HP do you have? 900? About a thousand? I wanna say that we can probably just take you down immediately, but I am not... Sure, I'm hesitant to summon anyone else, though. It's also the thing that, like, he has this right here, Tyrant Stare. Nearby enemies to uh, take 20% stat down. Which could utterly fuck us, but... On the other hand, we have an obscene amount of hate for the front row. Or at least just one person hate. How much do we do, out of curiosity? Can we just one round him? Possibly not. Oh no, that stat down actually does a lot more than you would think. Oh, we are dead!
He even used a sky move on me. Well then. <laughs> Alright then, let's actually take that fight more seriously than what I thought. For some reason, I did not expect him to actually do that much damage. I thought with the level and potential, it's not going to be that bad, but fuck no. Wait, did I save after I put all the equipment and stuff on? Shit. I don't think I did. Hey, I'm Kataro, you're back! Yeah, I didn't put anything that I equipped back in. Shit. Alright. Actually, Grid of Man could probably be equipped to a couple people and just, like, really help out a bit with it. And Divine Task as well. In fact, let's put those on the main character real quick. Damn it. Cycled over him. Which eats your stats if you're close. Yeah, that, that happened. And that, huh? It did. He brought you down to his level and killed you. He kind of did, Danger Fang. He did. Wait, not that one. I mean, he is human, so... With this, I'd take 50% less damage, theoretically. But if this, I'd damage it increased. I'm gonna say I'm fine with that. Megumin. Damage is higher? Damn it. Let's just go here real quick to do this. And... Intelligence up. Actually, no, not that. Not that. Remember that they probably should do that? Let's instead go for the... Unit is female stats up. That could work as well, I guess. But instead of that, I should have a couple of these lying around for the sort of reason of Silent Walk. Then Odie as well. Why not Silent Walk? I'm gonna have to watch that cutscene again, aren't I? Oh, I should've skipped Scory. Fuck! And I can't skip it while I'm in it, so... Is you get to watch this again, whether I like it or not. There's... Come on, it's way too... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Wielder of the Honor. You have the same powers of control. Huh? What? You want to join us? Don't get ahead of yourself. My body. I regret that my time. So I want you in my old body. And if consuming my soul, that's why. Don't be a fool. You care nothing. Come for on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That world now. So please. Hey. Thanks. I'll remember that. Oh, how interesting. Better be. So, this is how it feels. Kill me! Come on, let's get back you to the fight. Refuse? I think I'm a nice break. Welcome to the stream. 
must strike in doing so. Understand that I cannot simply... All right, let's summon the two that have Salen Walk. Is it my turn yet? Get back a bit. Get some acting for it. How goes? It goes all right so far, Nick Dragon. We actually got the game over in this fight, so I gotta worry about that for a second. I don't know how much he moves, so I really have to be careful about it. Back up this much for now. Alright, Odie, can you... You can increase our attack and such, but let's hold off on that right now. Wait, he's now at 3,000 potential. Are his stats randomized, actually? His stats, for all I know, are randomized. Thunderstruck. Not much, actually. What about Mega Man? Can you um, uh, explosion him and do a bit more damage than that? I mean, you should have, yeah, 500 intelligence compared to 200 res. Should be enough to do something. We can actually bind him in place, too. We'll do that next turn. Oh, yeah. Mega Man will fuck you up. I didn't move. Can I? No, I can't do that just yet. If possible, I want to I wanna either beat him with Demon Blade, or Demon Blast, or through just shenanigans. Buff everyone up. I was gonna say, can we see the animation of it? But no, we're just gonna have to explode you like this. Once again, Mega Mean destroys all. And I guess that was that. Let's reset what you had to be equipped. Explosion's just too powerful. That should be 60% stats for our <laughs> for our ultimate team, I guess.
think that's everyone equipped to the best of their abilities. Let's save up. I think someone mentioned there was like a little bit over 50 maps, so we are probably close to the end now. If not, probably at the end. Abandon this accursed body. <laughs> if I can grant my power to my child, I have no regrets. Child? I look forward to the new world you will create. The world you will lead. Sword is acting strange. Uh, it, it ate him. It's only doing its job. What? What's that mean? Tell me. That is the demon sword passed down through Median's lineage. Souls can be contained within, and using it makes it a part of you. Virtuous took it when she killed Median. A demon sword, huh? No wonder it always felt so comfortable. No way could Median, um, Gestal have forgotten. He had to know only family members would be able to use it. He must have known from the beginning. Known what? That you were Median's child in your previous life. What? Ellipses. The sword is awakened. It is fully connected to your body. This has officially become a fair fight. <laughs> what a delightful spectacle. You think so? I thought it was rather underwhelming. Can we get back to business? Oh boy. But hey, look at that. Drazilian teams and a unit that gets boosted by in level based on how many are nearby. AKA Pick off the little ones, and eventually this big one will be down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, there are nine of them, which means it's going to be down to being in level 42. What am I at? 37 still. So much for being a fair fight, but I guess it'll work out. Agrippa's gonna do next to nothing in terms of his special, but it'll work out for some stuff. I forgot, I need to... Agrippa's gonna take a face full of this here in a second. And also Demon... We can now use Demon Force too. Oh shit, nice! And what do you know, it's Runo's Dimensional Slash. Nurgle, go! That's a lot of misses. At least we made it to him and we did something there. Then let's begin. There. I guess it's actually kind of good that Kataro joined us as well because just having I swear on my soul 
one right there helps out a lot, just for the, well, experience probably not needed anymore now, but... You don't have a buff to give, but you have buffs to receive. Should be okay, actually, right there. Awesome. All of them are summons. Let's see how badly this goes. Come on, Nerd, we believe in you. She did pretty much 100 plus whenever she attacked. Everyone, get stronger! By order of Odie! We have to move around a bit to try and get to all of them. They have skills as well, I believe, right? Yeah, they do. And the Brazil one as well, I'm kind of concerned about. So let's go. Let's, let's just go ahead and get this one out of the way. Only one use. The boss has infinite uses, but oh well. I'm gonna go around this way just because that's one of the fastest ways we're gonna get to over there. Well, never thought to go raid. Yep, never going to. Oh God, Mega Me, no! Oh, Mega Me! Okay, none of the main cast did. Died, so... Burn! You dare kill one of our clones! Actually, that should be something for me to check, I guess. Yeah, now he's the 142. So yeah, no 5 green Terra Blaze now, unfortunately, but that wasn't too bad of a thing. Double experience? I don't think that's much of a worry now, so let's just get an attack on you, I guess. Because this looks like a final encounter sort of thing, so I'm going to count on it being one. Thank you for all hitting the leader, too. The unit's dead. That is another one down. 700. Tactics. I can use last uh, act for myself to get crits. I'm gonna hold off of it because this area right here is just asking for shit to go wrong. I might have to go to the left with Odie. Yeah, only that now. None of them have picket line from the looks of it. Only he has picket line. His highest and lowest final boss in terms of level. That is true, yeah. It's highest in level for a final boss in the uh, NIS games because fucking level 900 something. But it's lowest because it's technically not supposed to be that high. It's up for the player to lower it down. <laughs> Taro, do the one thing you're meant to do. Match. Ah! We 
can make sure that they don't move, but that's not gonna do much for us. So you might actually be more useful for the debuff bots. Alright, Odie, come on. Grippa, get yourself a more act and speed. be at least a little bit enticing for you guys. All right, then we will kill you on our own. Die in a hail of fire. Now woke him up. Tower just gone a little march. Odie, you are probably going to die here. We're very close to the enemy, but I want to believe in you, man. When the chips are down, you can smite someone, can't you? Good job, Odie. Good job. Agrippa, you gotta be the messenger to just go around the world. I'm actually gonna do this right now, just so I can start initiating on them, I think. Actually, I might have wanted to wait until they got a bit closer, because all the AIs hadn't had a chance to move yet. But who knows? No, I think not really that the AI that the boss even move the front over there, but you never know. He might have decided to do something. Come on, the leader. All you gotta do is attack the leader. God damn it. Actually, that might be enough. That is. And another kill to add on. Do it. How would you look at that? Danger Fang's taking all the hits and being a good boy. I had to check who you were again, sorry. <laughs> You're a bad one, so let's do Blossom Shot on you. Just wipe it out. other one right here hopefully without accidentally nope not that hopefully without accidentally aggering the the boss ai right now so oh god we probably might actually aggro the boss ai right here doesn't matter odie you might be a sacrifice so a level fucking 200 hits It actually. Nuke the last second last one. 
He should now be level only 142. Yep. So we can kill that last one before it's a boss's turn. Then we could probably do this. Or at least um, quicker than we normally would. And everyone else has just so much more hit than the main character now. All right, come on, Kotaro. Just keep on doing your lap, your victory lap. Oh God! Oh no! Oh dude, we gotta dodge it quick. No. Yeah. You bastards. One well, fucking one more away. Becoming a proper character. <laughs> that is the last one. Get rid of it. Now he's level 42. If we had done that just one turn sooner, Odie would be alive. Megumin Squad! This bastard killed Odie! I can lower the defense by 50% actually, Jesus fuck. What are his stats now that he's uh, no longer level who knows what? He had a fuck ton of intelligence though, Jesus Christ! We probably need to do this then. Never mind, we can't. That is right, yeah, pick a line I forgot. No, Agrippa! Oh, you're alive, dude! Good shot, my man! Though he leveled up! Gotta be careful, guys. We gotta approach this real quick, uh, carefully. Our Gripa can go all in and just be the hero we need. He's nearly down. He's got so many, so much fight in him, but he has to try. The madman. Oh, that's right, yeah. That's one thing that we can do. Though increases them up. Uh, oh, yeah, stamina down. Yeah, that's right. Damn. 19. That is a red. I have not seen a red before. Megumin? 
You must try. Look at the stats. All right, let's check the stats out for a second. The Mega Mean Squad is at 1,573 intelligence. Picket line. That's right. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting about picket line. Sorry. 14 left. 14 of that left. Oh, God. Agrippa. No. You did your best, man. You took out the other flank and you did some damage to him yourself. God damn, you were the most honorable single flying unit we ever had. Still not far enough to do that to him. Do what you can. Good. Come on, Juno. Do it for that one kid that I forgot the name of from the village. That was all right damage. Only 4,000 left. We can actually hit those numbers. Kotaro, if you ever make it to the battle, you might be the hero we need. For all I know, Matt Alice, you can do it. Try. You did fuck all! Not to Megu, not to Megu, not to Megu! Juno! Actually, it's those two! Fuck! Did they live? Did they live? Juno lived! Avenge them, Megu! Avenge them! You're at nine! Use the Inferno. That's all I can think of. The stats. Fine, fine, fine. At 1608 intelligence. Megami, before you faint, use the Inferno. Sorry. Channel your inner anime and cause the biggest explosion we can see. That's almost enough! That's almost enough! Shine. We need 4K! Come on! <laughs> oh, you suck! Wait, is there second damage? Megumin, no! Megumin! Why would you do this? Wait, no, Juno's next. Juno's next. Juno, you have a chance. Please. Good. Good. Bubbles. Let it be the bubbles. Almost. Good. Okay, Hydra Fang might do it. For your friend, for your mother, and it's dead. Good. The nerd got it! Woo! And the main character did not see a single instance of combat. Where did this strength come from? Drizil, we have only one option left. Ah, yes. I think you're right.
Oh, fuck. No, no. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. She just got blown away. What do we do? What do we do? It's so strong. Okay, look. I admit, things don't look so hot. We don't have any souls left to eat or anything. Hey, Gig. What? I'll give you what? We'd get your full power, right? No, you can't! If you do, then you... Then you... You'll be taken over by Gig! Is that what you want? You want to be gone forever? What else can I do? No choice in this. Literally, I don't. Of course you do. I'll protect you. I'll... I'll become a crimson tear. Dad, what? Both my parents became powerful jewels, so that means I can too. I'll die and transform into the jewel. Then I can protect you that way. Did Lady Lena mention that you can? If not, you're just gonna carry yourself here and then we can't do shit about it. No, this is my idea. Nobody told me to do it. And that's why there's no reason for you to worry. Stupid, 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 stupid. Leave the thinking to the people with brains, okay? Stop calling me stupid. It's not stupid. Listen, kid, even if she did that, it wouldn't matter. So I'm gonna help you out, okay? Lend me your powers as a world eater. Then I'll be able to work something out. And you can go ahead and keep your body when I'm done, okay? Sort of like the opposite of before, get it? Gig? Actually, I don't care if you agree or not. I've already decided. But if you do that... What happens to you? No idea. Will you disappear, Gig? Hey, don't make that stupid face. I can't say it was all bad going around with you. I got to eat some damn good food, that's for sure. No regrets here. Gig, you can't do this. You have further cameos to make. Just shut up and listen. I feel really shitty for what Drazil did to Hafnis. It's all my fault. Sure, he was controlling me, but I enjoyed doing it. And now I feel awful. I want to save your world. I guess that Gestal guy was trying to do the same thing. No! The you in there and the you out here need each other. If you're just gonna disappear, we'd be better off if I became a Crimson Tear and... Stop being unreasonable. Okay, fine, I won't disappear. Happy? Now make the deal. Are you just saying that? Do you really mean it? You won't disappear? Nah, don't worry. Look at this face and tell me I'm lying. <laughs> Gig? Oh, and you gotta promise to make me some nice hot pods when we get back. Don't raise that death flag. Okay, I promise. But you gotta promise to go back to half nest with us. If you don't, I'll just snap the hell out of that neck of yours. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. Now let's get this over with. Danette, break that seal. It's getting in the way. Are you sure? I believe in him. All right. Hey, Dad. It's okay. You can let go now. You can release the seal bonding them together. And please, rest in peace. <laughs> Man, that feels good! I can finally stretch my legs! Jeez, you guys are so gullible! What? All right, kid, give it up! You? It's okay. Very good. I can feel the power! Face. So what? Now you're a single master of death. You really think that matters against all three of us? Oh, don't think for a second that I'm alone. You saw the battles before. I've got plenty of idiots begging me to summon them into battle. There is exactly zero chance of us losing to a bunch of has-beens like you. You have much to learn, child. Now, to battle! You don't gotta tell me twice. Your ass is mine! Let's go. Oh, that other magic team skill that he has. Is it? I would like to do the mock battle with a level 10,000 gig, though. Hey, you in there. That was incredible. I guess you weren't all just talk. Gig? Hey, say something. Gig, are you there? Hey, what's your problem? Are you asleep? Did you turn stupid? You're probably just mad because I won't call you by name. Fine then. All you have to do is say something and I'll say it. Danette, I, I think he's... Mm hmm <laughs> Playing hide and seek, huh? Well, I'm the best there is. I'll find you lickety split. <sighs> this place is way too big. And there's nothing in here. There's nowhere you can hide! That laugh... It was his lying laugh. No, that's not it. Remember before? He used his powers and then he just fell asleep for a while. I'm sure that's what it is. He'll be back in no time. Stop trying to scare me or I'll just snap your neck right now! Just... Give him a while. He'll pop right back up. But 
Back then, I still felt his soul. Hey, you! Listen up! You're just a big liar! And I don't cook for liars, so no hot pods for you! And I'll never say your name ever again! You always love to call me stupid. An idiot. And stupid idiot. But you're the stupid idiot! Idiot! Stupid idiot! Stupid, 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 stupid! Okay, that should wake him up. Hey, why are you acting like this? You shouldn't do stuff like this just to scare us. And don't act all cool like you don't need us. Hey, you in there. Listen, okay? I... I won't be angry. I won't even try to snap your neck. I won't call you stupid. And... And I'll make you all kinds of hot pods. So much you'll explode. I'll... I'll even say your name if you want. Please. Gig? Just come back. And that's the end of Soul Nomad and the World Eaters. I'm gonna guess that we got the Danette ending then, considering that was her CG at the end right there. Considering how many times I used her skill, then how many times she was on the team as well, so... I guess that's what we got. I was wondering if we were gonna get the gig or the Danette ending, but who knows. Wait for post credits? Oh, alright then. I guess that'll let me know which ending I get. But... Oh, god damn it. The game is done. It is finally done. So with that, I can actually now speak a bit more about my thoughts on the game and some of the things that I wanted to say before, but I was holding off until this whole thing of it. You gonna do the second story? I... I'm not sure, honestly. I will put up a vote on Discord actually saying if we want to do it. I will put up a vote... And we will see if people want to move on to the, another game or go on and do the next, the gig mode, whatever it is, on this game. Since it is, apparently it is like a New Game Plus Aetna mode style of thing. But based on what I've played so far of this game and this story mode and everything, I can see why it was recommended so much. It has a lot of good moments. The story is... I'm going to settle on saying the story is actually really good. It was a bit predictable every now and then, and the tropes were fucking everywhere, but it was tropes being done well enough that I didn't mind it all that much. The only real complaints that I kind of had were the change in home systems, where just, oh man, you had to roll to get some good shit on there. But if you got it, you held on to it for dear life. That was good. The end game in this game is just crazy with all the other NES games from PS2 era. Yeah, it is. Gig's really character. Gig is the takeaway from this game. From what I have played, Gig is a star of the show. He steals the entire game, he runs with it, and he loves every moment in the spotlight. Every single time he talks, he steals the entire scene to just be all about him. Even when it's not supposed to be him. His lines just are so snarky and pretty well delivered, too. You forget that that's Yusuke, and just he's going to eventually end up in a trash can. But... I can tell everyone who recommended it, and I am so thankful that they did. I'm just kind of sorry that it took me so long to get a physical copy to be able to play this game for you guys. It was just annoying as shit to try and get on a copy that was not overpriced as hell. Not only that, find a copy that wasn't scratched to hell too. I managed to get one a while ago, I never mentioned it, but when I tried playing it, I played through the um, uh, opening bit just to see if it ran well because like, there was a visible scratch on it. I wanted to see where the scratch was. And apparently it was scratched at the moment, like, in the village before you meet Gig. Just, it crashed and, like, the froze, and I'm just like, fuck. Oh, well, can't do that, then. Come again, did you miss it? Yes, you did. We're at the end right here. And I'm talking about my thoughts on the game, and so far it's 
majority positive. If I have to sort of like give a ratio of how much I enjoyed of the game to how much I disliked it, it's going to be a strong about 85% of the game I thoroughly enjoyed. Only in certain moments did it suddenly have like a spike of that is strange, unfair, and possibly just a bit uncalled for, but overall it's just a good game. I'm ashamed I didn't get to play it sooner, and it just really makes me want to play more NIS games, which I already have on the docket with Sky 5. And let me see. I play Phantom Brave. I played Soul Nomad now. I, I'm i not sure what other NIS games there are for me to check out from the PS2 era, or even otherwise. Just out there. I really should give that, this studio more of a chance and more looking into them. I mean, all things said and done, Labyrinth of a Frame was still actually a pretty good game, even if I thoroughly hated some of those goddamn moments. It was fun. I just kind of don't like that there is no reincarnation system here because I wish we could have reincarnated and had fun with it like that. But Cat Kingdom, I already played a Sailor Peter. I am hoping to God they remake it for the PC like they did with the Sky 1. I just, oh man, I want it. It'd be so good. And I don't know what else to say. There's only so many things I can say about a game that I am that I enjoyed thoroughly. I can't critique it that hard. I can't really point out things that I didn't like. It was just a good game. A solid, enjoyable romp that I wish I had gotten to sooner. So, I'm just going to go ahead and actually say my usual spiel. The stuff that I normally never want to say because it feels wrong. But, I already told myself I'm only going to say it at the end of a gameplay. At the end of everything. After a playthrough is done, after everything is archived and on YouTube, I feel like I make, you can make this judgment call. For everyone that is watching this on YouTube specifically, if you enjoyed things so far, liking does something, it does something different every single time I look it up, so for all I know, it helps out. It's my only way to gauge if people actually, if I did something good in that video. If I felt entertaining enough, if I had good things, if editing was not shit, that kind of stuff. As for subscribing, I assume you guys do it already. I don't think I need to tell you guys to click a button to want to see more of this, unless you really are getting caught up. But only in these final parts will I actually say, subscribe to the channel? Maybe? It helps me get noticed, but I believe strongly that you guys should be able to make that call yourself without me reminding you. That's why I only say it at the end. Aside from that, comments? I'm still small enough that I read every single goddamn one of them, including the ones that tell me to fuck off every now and then. I haven't shown up lately, though, so I'm assuming I'm doing good. Ow. That's for everyone on Twitch here. Follow, I guess? I don't know. Subscribe if you want the emotes and you want to support me. I'm going to keep on going whether they subscribe or not, whether I get supported or not. Because as long as there's someone that wants to watch, I'm willing to put on a show. Now with that, I guess it's the end. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you had a great time. I'll see you guys with whatever comes next, and stay awesome. Hopefully, you'll let me tell you one more time, another time. Your time in this tale has come. Which gender would you like to be? A freaking guy, of course. And what will the world call you by? A truly noble name for such a hero. No shit, I could have told you that. We of this world give you our blessing, no matter what path you choose. Now go. May happiness and good tidings follow you, wherever you roam. Oh my god, shut up already! Like I need your blessing, Halfness, you hag! I made a promise to the kid and that stupid cow! Shape up, come on! 
Where'd that warrior go who saved the entire world? We only pulled that off because of how hard you tried. Have some dignity. This is why Lady Lane, uh, virtuous, treats me like a kid. Because you can't act mature. I mean, I'm already a grown-up, so it can't be me. Now, time for childcare training. But why, though? It's for the good of the future. We might have to take care of each other's kids someday. Whoa, what? Well, you're stepping over a several steps here, Danette. You and me, we're gonna live here together forever, right? Special technique. Here comes the mommy I'm hungry attack. And if you don't take this seriously, I'll make you cry. <laughs> At it again, I see. Now that everything's peaceful, you're right back to playing games. Hey, Sep Girl, whatever happened to your priest training? How's that coming? Oh, that's... you see... Hey, since when do you get to lecture me? If you don't mind, we're in the middle of a training session. You're telling me to get out? Huh, you Sep kids just don't have any manners. You think that kind of attitude will get me to do what you want? Anyway, Lady Virtuous told me to come get you. Lady Le- I mean, Virtuous! It's her first summon since she woke up. Okay, that's it for today's training. Let's go! Lady Virtuous, I was informed you requested our presence. <laughs> There's no need for such formalities. I've got good news. Lena sent me a report from Brazil. She says the formalization system has been overturned. Everyone can be unique now. Hey, don't give me that look. It's a good thing. I'm kind of sad there won't be as much of your face around. But I'm sure it'll make young Lena feel better. <laughs> so the nerds... Are having a baby boom? Ah, yes. The flow of souls is slowly returning to our world. And listen closely. You can no longer hear the cry of the world, can you? Freaking hell! Hey, stupid cow! You ate my entire stash of hot pods! I don't believe this! Gig, it wasn't her! You sticking up for her? Mm-hmm. That's right. Oh, no. Don't tell me. It was you? Where's my hot pods? Those were a gift from that sluggo guy. Gig, Odie is no longer the slug he once was. I can't believe you in there still can't remember names. You're always using those strange nicknames. Oh, my God. Hey, you're the one that called him Sluggo in the first place. And you're one to talk. You still call me you in there. I'm not even in there anymore. Fine. I'll stop saying that once you stop calling me stupid cow. Ah, <laughs> not a chance. Hey, kid. Does she ever call you by name? She doesn't, does she? That's not very nice, is it, kid? You dick. Hey, I know where to get some hot pods. What, you mean his place? He won't even let me in. He says he can't give me free food anymore. Now that he's a big shot restaurant owner, he doesn't have time for me. It was such a nice place, too. Uh, that's it. I'm gonna go see Van Gogh. I bet he'll feed me. Oh, wait a minute. As long as you're going, could you take a letter for me? Huh? Oh, for that pain in the ass? She's always gone when I get there. Maybe, but I always get a reply, and it sounds like she's doing well. She said she's got a nice, dependable person by her side. Now just hold on, you can't leave yet. Hey, look. Huh? Oh, this must be another one of those drawings she sends with the letters. Lame as always, I bet. Hey, take a look at this. Hey, I got a letter back. She had it. Euphoria's ba- oh, oh, don't look at that. 
Save data can be carried over. Save your game? Sure, let's do that. Right on save one. <laughs>